Um, and reshuffle, please. Yeah. What the hell are you doing? You are very quickly gonna go all the way there before they decide to push one step forward. Then you're screwed completely. Build the wall, keep those dirty Americans out. <laughs> Ooh, that might actually be something a valid tactic. Now when you say it. Since I will try to hold this, I will not try to push for quite a while. And I don't really need more military factories. What I do need is resources. So we'll start with a level 1 everywhere. It should go quite quickly. 13 days for each and every one of them. So yeah. Let's build a wall. Keep those Americans away from my land. Build a wall. Build a wall. Build a wall. Hello, Con... Cornium, Cartium. I'm just gonna slaughter everyone's name, so I should just whatever. Yeah, um, I'm just doing the level one first to actually see if it works. If they're not trying to push very soonish, and just gonna kill my units right away anyway. Right away anyway. Hmm. Kind of sounds like the start of a rap. I really don't like rap music, so I should stop doing those crazy awesome moves. Um, why are you not moving? Why are you not moving to the front line? I'm pretty sure I signed you. No, I did not. Oh, right, I re accidentally removed it before. Ugh. Shit. <laughs> so, please, quickly. Danley present the wall! Rap god. <laughs> so, anti-tank units, I'm pretty sure I have a billion of you. So, I'm just gonna switch out to anti-tank level 3. The same here. And, yes, I was correct. 5k. That's fine, that's fine. This is not really fine, but I think I have more stuff to do, yeah. I would really like this to be better, since if I get this, river. What has been my problem for ages? This freaking river. What kind of music do you like? I pretty much like most music, except rap, hip-hop, country music and here they are attacking yeah I don't have enough they were just getting planning bonus and then trying to assault uh, let's try to do a counter assault with my planning bonus but I don't think it will go quite well <laughs> we're holding them off on most places except here we're actually attacking and it's going quite well So those level 1 forts won't be ready in time, and we don't even own those territories anymore, or these territories. So you're gonna fall back, you're gonna hold off for a while longer, until we fall back with you too. And you can stop assaulting, because that's just a waste of manpower. And I think I actually, yeah, I went full on defending mode way too early we're just gonna fall back all the way for no 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 shit that was a really bad move that was a horrible oh luckily they arrived in time oh maybe not yeah I lost four divisions or something bad moves and I went too aggressive I thought I might be able to do it right away but I won't be able to do it all your troops are gonna fall back to this line now actually let's do it with inclusion of the Me Mexico Everyone is gonna get back right there. So next time we push in, it's gonna be a bit harder since we built a wall for them. Just level one wall, but at least it's something. America is still too strong. We need to attack them with good divisions and not the uh, not the phony ones we have used. And you actually retreat backwards this way, so you can strategically redeploy all the way here. And you're just gonna keep attacking there, so you can keep the way open. And you are gonna strategic redeploy, come on! 
as soon as you arrive you are also gonna do it actually I will wait a tiny bit with both of you and that's good so this is how you fall back with units in Hoi 4 try to find a province with no y enemies close by so you can strategically redeploy them if they're not attacked they can do it otherwise it's not possible god damn it he got attacked let's retreat but if you retreat uh, let's say this province were taken by the enemy and you're retreating or actually let's just say yeah if the province they're retreating to are being taken over by the enemy then they will be overrun and you will just lose them instantly and you are soon free and please quickly get down there everyone is moving and if you're strategically redeploying you're definitely gonna get away yeah that's good ah <sighs> hello snabier how are you doing and Soviet is doing quite fine in Europe actually they are soon reaching Berlin but we'll actually see if they manage to do it one of the main things in Hoi 4 is you can fight on forever if you just have the equipment for it. When you start losing the equipment war, you will start losing the real war. Production is Hoi 4. Win the production war, win the war itself. That's bad. Um, you should actually deploy right there now. Hopefully I did it with both of them. Um, you're actually quite... I don't want any more of you motorized. Or at least not now. So instead of keeping as many production lines as we do have, I'm going to remove a whole one more. Um, this is just with one line. So you should switch to infantry weapons level 3 and do the same thing here. So we're getting 1.6 <laughs> every day. That's basically nothing. But at least it's something. And we're gonna keep this fallback line since I know we have level 10 <laughs> ports. Oh yeah, yes, yes, America, America. <laughs> Argentina paid for the American wall. Can't you retrain your units and those artillery divisions? Retrain. Um, I can retrain them, but I, I would lose equipment from that. And I don't want to lose equipment. I want to gain more equipment. I need just more divisions of them. They can train out on the battlefield. That's all that's needed. They just need to fight a while until they actually recover the bravery and the strength of the Argentinian people. Actually, I could just say to them, you will move right there. And then when you're ready, in my opinion, you will be moved up to the front line. Over the volume a bit. Uh, let's see. We still have the superiority. Um, but one thing that could be changed is I want you to have a maximum of 400 units. So as soon as they're done, just go right there. And I have, yeah, 164 now. How much manpower? 700k, so that's pretty good. And now probably America will go all the way and just crush me because Mexico has fallen. Let's just grab one of these units, and let's see. That's your armor division getting crushed by my artillery division. Yeah, nice. That's all I need to see. And you're actually, actually pushing forward too, that's even better. Uh, artillery level 3, level, level 2, what? Oh yeah, 8 more days until we have got it, level 3. Uh, did a massive multiplayer game have finished? Yeah, I finished. It's up on YouTube if you want to watch it. I think I still have this. Yeah. So if you want to see the Free Day War, you can just watch it right there. Or massive multiplayer, not Free Day War. That was the other thing. Um, you need 20% training. Yeah. Uh... 
What are we we're just needing steel? We're still exporting 11 of them. Do we get in factories from trade? Yeah, 16 of them actually. So I, I was just thinking, should I maybe close, go down to closed economy? But let's not do it. But let's do this at least. For something. Oh, right, right, right. We needed rubber for the mechanize. But since we're not actually using it anymore, this won't be as useful. As useful. Useful for your ass. That was horrible. That was a s horrible one. <laughs> uh, and I still laugh from it. I'm embarrassing. Let's just do more military factories then. Oh, actually, that's just all. So let's just continue upping this up. Um, those will actually get destroyed. The ones I produced up here. Alright, shift right click. Since this is not my controlled territory. Oh, that is. But I st that still got revolt risk. So let's focus on the other ones first. Ac and then do this one even so. But um, instead of actually finding each and every one in the list. It goes faster doing this way. And then down prioritize the repairs, and that's good. Now, let's see if America can break down here. Did Mexico capitulate? Yes, they did. Finally. What's your division template look like? Uh, the good divisions I'm gonna use are gonna look like this. Just a whole ton of artillery. And uh, as you might have seen, what, uh, yeah, <laughs> Don Lind, aka Podcat, aka the project lead of. Hardswarm 4 posted to me more artillery um, But that was most likely because we have talked that day about two hours about how we're gonna use artillery <laughs> Which was pretty fun actually Show us of colony flank the fat Americans with speed and power. I would love to do that But for that I need e naval superiority and you know about America and their Navy. Let's see details a navy of 379 ships to 417, and then you look at mine. 18. And let's see, what kind of 18 ships do I have? I have 8 battleships, that's actually more than I thought. I have 2 heavy cruisers, 1 light cruiser, I have 4 destroyers and 3 subs. It's not even enough to have naval superiority in these 2 naval zones. So, uh, yeah. Not the best. And don't you have 20% yet? Yeah, 18%. Wow, that's a lot of art. Yeah. A whole bunch of artillery is really strong now at late game. So 40 organization and I still have 600 soft attack. Um, with the help of some nice, nice artillery or anti-tank guns. We still have the piercing at 67. So it's going to pierce. Let's see how much is, is it going to pierce. Um, this is 110, and if you have about 50% tanks in your division, it's not gonna be enough. I'm still gonna pierce it, is what I mean. And as soon as my new artillery is coming, it's gonna be even better. Or my new anti-tank guns are coming, it's gonna be much more. Um, no, 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 that is with my best anti-tank guns, never mind. Well, we have a ship, to f a ship to fight them. <laughs> um, yeah, they're trying to push now, but I'm actually winning those engagements. Let's now drag up one nice line. The, the bad thing about this is now that I'm gonna have to fight with everything I got to be able to hold them off. There's no more retreating. There, or there's no more letting the Americans retreat and then push back and take Mexico for the sixth time or something. I think I'm on six times. Now I actually have to fight them the whole way. A cold war is <laughs> coming up. I bet on the commies. I bet on Argentina as soon as they get nukes. But that's going to be a, a hell of a ton of years before that happens actually. 
Chill out, I don't wanna advance yet. I want you to build up that nice, nice planning bonus. And finally, night or finally, night vision also finished up, which is beautiful. I just wish we had more weapons tree. Weapons number three. Weapons three, not tree. Weapons tree. Like a mountain troll from Lord of the Rings. Weapons tree. <laughs> ah. Actually, let's 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 push in here and see. Oh, 1,000 after that. That's really nice. It's quite a difference from my 200 or whatever my mechanized had. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. This might actually work really nicely. My artillery and soft attack they will push the unit, and they will crush. Yeah, they will push the units. They will fall back, and then my very quick cavalry and mo mechanized will go in and take the province really quickly, and maybe even continue the assault. If they don't have units back there, so they might get overrun. This might work really well. I just have to be very careful with my pushes so my mechanize doesn't go too far ahead and cut off. Uh, why do you have cav units? Why? Um, because I wanted to go fast. And it went really well with these cav units until America came around. Freaking America. Destroying my fun. Yeah, let's go in. And half of you go back and go this way. Half of you there and the other half go there. Nice. And I should have supplies for it. Not really actually. Um, it seems like infrastructure is too low here. So let's improve it. And that's going to have higher priority than anything else actually. Hmm. Why did I only see two? It should be three. Oh, I must have scrolled down not enough. So all of you three is gonna have the highest priority on getting better. Uh, have any convoys? I have lots of convoys, but I have nothing to trade with. <laughs> so instead of having this massive line actually. No. Grab this. Come on, how hard can it be? Grab that slot. And we're just gonna first push to Mexico one more time. And you're gonna be so careful about doing it. We don't want any heroics, we want you to be careful. So if everyone please move up. And you are, you're t yeah, you're no longer taking priority of the artillery. Okay, that's good at least. But we would need much, much more steel. <laughs> so much more steel. We're making slow progress. Yeah, I think we might be able to do it this time. We have 10 divisions. That's not even close to enough. We have 15 divisions. <laughs> yeah, I counted correctly. Um, but we have some artillery in spare. That's nice. So you divisions are gonna quickly move up. I'm gonna start pushing when they have actually gotten to the front. I think we need at least one or two on each province to the front. So yeah, five, six provinces in, at the front. So we have definitely enough for this. But much more than this, it's gonna be hard. You are doing this you are doing that that's nice everything upgraded and it's looking pretty support field mm, hospitals yes please so we're gonna place very safely and very slowly you only have one army I only have one army everything else has died I've lost probably 30 40 divisions every single time I've fallen back from the United States border we were much, much, much lower than I actually expected first at all coming to the United States. So they had so much time just preparing up, building troops. So when I finally arrived, they slaughtered me. And Soviet Union is starting to have trouble. Well, Soviets, you invited me. So don't complain about it. 
I'm gonna probably save you much later, but I'm totally gonna backstab you sooner or later. Or maybe I'm gonna be fine with that. We have already played to 1946 and that's quite a long way. So if I instead just turn this war around and since the Axis has been annexed, just conquering the Allies will pretty much end the war. I think it actually will end the end date. Yeah, so the goal of this campaign is just going to be turn back, crush United States. I find it strange that the United States can't crush Daniel and his 66 division since South America is a desert and uh, desert of troops it seems. Yeah, but they're gathering here. They have done a couple of naval invasions. I just pulled them back, crushed them back. So we'll see. Uh, so units, please push up now to that single point. Yes, slowly and safely. A new kiss heading for Washington will help you a little. Yeah, that would also help. See, my mechanized units are just going around taking everything while my the rest of my units are slowly moving up towards the front. Engineered company level 3, that's definitely gonna help me, so let's definitely gonna help me, not definitely not help me. Um, and just continue up a bit more. So hold please. The mechanized were getting a bit far ahead. Since these artillery units are not quick, that's 3 kilometers and these are 10 still? No, 6.3. Oh, yeah, that's just because the modifiers at that single province. But yeah, they're tender. One hour already? Holy shit. That's, that's gone past super quickly. That's incredible. <laughs> um, yeah, you are arriving here, but it's the it's Western Front. We're having troubles with actually arriving at the single province they need to be at. Uh, let's play speed 5 again. That will go a bit quicker. Since we're starting to have a bit a bit lag. Since uh, Soviet Union and United States are getting those ridiculous amount of troops. The same with uh, England and France. No, not really France, but England. So, um, we need to make one of them surrender so we can at least crush them. And not much progress to show for that hour. <laughs> Do you have a different hairstyle? Uh, my hair is much shorter and uh, it's not actually, doesn't have any wax or hair gel today, so I haven't actually fixed it. It's just pretty much water since I'm, yeah, you know, showering, showering. I don't want to style myself when I'm just going to be at home all day. So, yeah, it might be a bit different today. I feel privileged. <laughs> Almost no one sees me like this, except now 97 people on the internet. Cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, I mean, the progress of this hour has actually been quite a lot, quite quite large. We have done quite much in this hour. Y yes, we have finally abandoned our stupid tactics. We have started to gather up a real force of units. And we are actually now pushing back the United States in a small matter. Since we're, yeah, we have good divisions now. How many casualties does the US have? They should have, oh, actually they have about the same amount as me now. But I'm pretty sure most of them are just from Soviet Union, so I shouldn't take any credit. But I still have done 15% of everything. And uh, let's see, Soviet Union should be in this line, yeah, 81%. So please, artillery units, move up quickly now. And why do I have 7 divisions stationed there? And yes, I'm winning against this units from Soviet Union or from the US no yes maybe <laughs> oh I'm do being a bit too much to reach that 80 hmm 
Wait, how large are my divisions actually? They are 36. I'm really slow at math at these points. Hello calculator, how are you doing? I shouldn't do math and do stream at the same time, then I'm just gonna mess up horribly. So I'm cheating at... Really? It's gonna be so little? Yeah, 26. Huh, horrible. So we would need to decrease it by 3. That would be kinda fine. Should I do it this way? That's... Oh, it's still at 29. Aren't these two? Aren't these two? Yeah. So I would have to need to do this. To actually get them down at the... This would be worth it. I'll get a couple more divisions outside. Hmm. Oh, 24? Are these taking... Oh, that's free. And the infantry units are just one. No, they're two. Two and three, apparently. This would work fine. I think. But that's 140 soft attack I actually lose. And how much? 8.3 organization. We're gonna not make the change right now. We're gonna wait a bit more. And see what's going on. And why are you so stacked? I want you to be well spread out during the whole front. Is this just the plain difference between the good units over here and the bad ones? Maybe it is. And you are gonna get a bit a straight front now, so if possible, yeah. My it seems like my artillery units are good enough to go over the river and crush them, but none of them are actually attacking here. So please, artillery units, you do it. Yeah, that's quite a difference in attack. And you already pushed over, that's super nice. So artillery units. All of you that might be attacking, pause and attack right there. And you're gonna go like this and we can crush those units. Surround the US divisions quite handily. And you are gonna do decryption even more. Come on, come on quickly now. This is what I wanted you for. When they eventually fall you should be able to get in quickly enough but apparently it was not enough. And you units. Oh, seems like we'll finally take uh, San Antonio again. What about setting a division? How many divisions AI can have? Setting like... We, we have something that works for it. I don't know how secretive we are really gonna be with it, but... We're um, probably making a dev diary about it. I don't know. Just ping someone at... I don't know, ping Podcat and ask. If he answers you, then it's fine. Dev diary material otherwise. <laughs> so, I'm not even sure that's the real plan. The, fu the one thing we talked about before is the thing we're gonna do, since, like I said, I'm not on Hearts of Iron 4 anymore. I'm on some other project. AU4. <laughs> Doing AI stuff. Um. That plan is not looking as well anymore. And I want you to plan this out. So now, people, reform the line, spread out, and then we're gonna push again. And I am losing artillery, so now we, when we're actually battling with them, we're not gaining as much anymore. Units spread out. Good, you are. Please crush that division, you're making this border looking ugly. Well, if you ask me, you have too many casualties, 
a rebellion movement should start proce progressing. I don't really like rebellions like we have them in EU4 Crusader Kings, it's just plain annoying, to be honest, <laughs> at least for me. So I would really like us not to have that in Hearts of 4. If I can prevent it, I will. And it seems like we have <laughs> not enough space for any nuclear reactor. I'm just gonna remove a couple of factories. Uh, let's keep the civilians. Oh wait, we can only have one in each state. So I might already have messed up a bit. Uh, let's move one there, and let's move one there, and let's move one there, and one there. That's a couple of factories at least. And you're doing nukes, good. Come on, reform. This is the thing I cannot let happen. If one, just one of my divisions move up and then get counterattacked, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be real bad. Since, yeah. <laughs> my, the divisions that are actually arriving quicker are gonna be bad and not be able to push them back or hold the ground. I'm gonna take heavy losses. So I really need these divisions to be at every crucial point for my assault. The rest can fill up pretty well actually. But otherwise, it's gonna look very badly for us. Since they need to be the meat, meat shield for my glass cannons. Uh, what are you doing? You should really stay there. Uh, you divisions, push up here, please. Yeah, as you can see, these troops are just instantly retreating when they're getting too much fire on the po 